Hi and welcome to my playhouse and Merry Christmas everybody. This video is gonna go up on Christmas the 24th. We celebrate Christmas on the 24th. I know a lot of the world celebrates it on the 25th so well in this case um, we are one day in ahead of you. So um, today I'm gonna be uh, showing you what I've got for myself for Christmas a few days early. I'm recording this in, in advance so that I can do other stuff Christmas day or Christmas night or Christmas I don't know what we call that so I can do other stuff on Christmas but I did get myself something so let's um, go to the table and see that well it's not like it's gonna be a big surprise because well you saw the thumbnail but I got myself a Philips Hue uh, starter kit well the, this one is kind of a starter kit and um, I got a sensor for it as well. I have never played with this Philips Hue stuff. My good buddy Jim, he likes this Philips Hue a lot. And yeah, I, I've, I've grown kind of envious when I'm visiting him and walks around his house and the, the lights turns on and off automatically when you walk into a room. So I want it too. Yeah, this is bloody expensive. This is this package is over a hundred dollars here might be a way cheaper other places um, And it, it contains of well, there is the Philips Hue bridge thinky Isn't that a bridge? They call it the the Hue bridge. Okay, we had the bridge And we have some light bulbs and that's more or less what's in this package We have this thinky and we have three light bulbs but these are the good light bulbs. These are the ones that you can you can put color to them. This is the color kit, so you can control colors. Um, there are 16 million colors that you can kind of select, and it's kind of compatible with all this stuff from all this most of the stuff at least. There is Amazon Alexa and Apple Home Kit, Google Assist, Nest, Smart Things. So that's kind of cool. And three of them you can talk to. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to, to telling, uh, in my case, it might be Siri that I'm gonna be talking to, asking her to turn up and off the lights, that I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So let's get this out of the box and uh, we'll have to connect this somewhere. I hope these light bulbs will fit where I want to use them. That's gonna be bloody exciting. Um, yeah, again, bloody expensive stuff. And it doesn't take up much room. So, let's get that out of there. I'm suspecting that there is a power supply in here as well. Yep. Ah, oh, that's fancy. We have a power supply and we have thinkies that will tell it what country we're in. So if we were in Great Britain, that would be the one. If we are here, this will be the one. There, cool. That's a weird one. It's shape. It's almost like an Apple thing, except Apple wouldn't put all that stuff there. They would somehow get around that. And oh, we have a patch cable. That looks like to be super quality. <coughs> Four leads in there, so apparently this box doesn't need much of an internet connection. Uh, what this does is that it connects your network. It translates your network to wireless uh, not wireless network but a wireless system that communicates with light bulbs other switches and stuff that you can actually take your phone which is on the wireless network but not on this wireless network and communicates through this box to the light bulbs and also this sensor here somehow is gonna be doing the same thing we should get that out as well shouldn't we I got it open. Plastic. More plastic. There is not much in here. There. Tiny sensor. Ah, I guess it's. It needs some batteries. Oh, they have already put the batteries in there. I just really need to remove that little piece of plastic. That's neat. I don't have to take it apart. And there is a screw thing here. So, um, and it works with a magnet, 
So here is a magnet. Oh, and it's strong too. So I screw that in somewhere. And that's kind of cool. So I can just mount that magnet and I can put this in any weird angle that, well, that it will do. That's a neat system. And there are some thick manuals here. I hope I don't have to read all of that. So my big plan was these three light bulbs in the kitchen here. And I was just taking this middle one apart because I wanted to make sure that this wasn't too long. So let's, let's see what we ran into. There we have the new light bulb. Here we have the old one. And it is ever so slightly longer. Uh, I thought, well, that might just might work. This is uh, this is the shortest one that I could find when I was putting these in because there isn't a lot of space in these mm, glass bolts here and up here. Oh, stay there. There is also some distance from there to to that thing. So um, yeah, I need that to be short. But ran into another problem kind of ran into the problem that this light bulb won't go through this hole. So I um, guess that's a no-go. Hmm, that's irritating. Need to clean that. But out here in the hallway, I have some light bulbs that look like they might work. Uh, yeah, one of them has blown. So I might have to do something about that anyway. Okay. I put them in, I turn, turn off the light while I did it. So what happens when you just turn on the lights? Oh, they light up like ordinary light bulbs. Cool. I'm gonna check if the cover fits now. There are different bolts in there. That was no problem, so. Yeah, it's um, it lights up as normal, that's cool. So, okay, the instructions for this are very short. Power your light source, plug this into um, to your router power and download the app and follow the instructions okay i need some power and some networking for that underneath my table we're gonna plug this in kind of out of the way right and then we'll pop this box in there there's a light easy thing yep it um, communicates. Okay, it has three LEDs uh, lighting up and I have my phone here and I started searching for Philips Hue and it comes up just after three letters. So that thing I'm guessing that we have to download. Let's see, official Philips Hue app. Uh, Philips Hue for Bluetooth. Oh dude, Philips Hue Bridge One. Oh, I guess I need to uh, Oh, that's that's another okay there are different vendors that has made Philips Hue apps so probably we're just doing the the first one let's try and get that downloading it just searched for my hub and it found one hub so we're gonna connect to that hub I'm, I'm guessing it's Okay, so we have to press it. That's a, is that a button? That's a button. Cool. Hub would like to access your home data. Yeah, that's probably... You, you probably have to do that so that we can do all of kind of stuff. Well, there's um, update available. Update. Installing update. Blinking in a different way now. So, um, yeah, we're doing something to it. Let's hope this goes well. Okay, update is complete. Done. Uh, we probably have to agree to that. Okay, enable. iCloud, home kit, must be enabled. Okay, use iCloud. Yeah, okay. Connect, connect, bridge, pair, skip. Okay, we get some information. I'll have to figure this out. Pair, bridge, haven't we done that? Oh, create new home, enable, create new home to enable Siri. Yeah, we wanna, we wanna command her. So we're gonna, we're gonna, my playhouse. My playhouse. 
create home. Hope. Okay, so there is a home key scan thing here. Is there? Oh, there is something there, so I can kind of. Okay. That was quick. Additional setup required. Okay, view. Add lights. Let's see if we should add serial numbers. Oh, do we have to take the lights out to add those? Really? I will uh, <coughs> go do that because I didn't know that otherwise I wouldn't have plugged them in. Okay, the serial number is here and it's tiny. So you have to add those. I just went out into the hallway and took this one down. So we're gonna add this one as well. I have already added one, the one that I hadn't put up there. There, we've added my three light bulbs. Let's, what, search? Searching for devices. Maybe I could have just searched and it would have found them. It, uh, it kind of found three light bulbs. So we can rename them, I guess. So I'm gonna try that. I called one table lamp and one hole one and hole two. So let's next. And no rooms created. Okay, we will create a room. And we can start by uh, the hall. Created that. And uh, we're not gonna have that one in there, so save. And uh, we're gonna create another room. And we're gonna put that one in there and we're gonna call that second second living room thank you save okay next congratulation your U application is running is up and running let's go okay so um, hall is currently on I see that the wrong lamps turned off. So, okay, I need to uh, I need to switch this around, find out which lamps is actually what. Okay, I think I got all the names right now. It's the hall, and I can turn on the lights in the hall. I can turn them off again, and then I have a table lamp that's behind us, so we can't see that, but I can turn it on and off there. Hey, Cyril. Turn on lights in the hall. Okay, the lights are on. That's kind of cool, right? Thank you. Uh, so, we have some settings here. I did go and mount the motion sensor here, so it has found that. So, accessory setup, and it has the motion sensor. Uh, what can we do with that? Where? That's in room, hall. Save, yes. I need to figure out how that works. I have tried to program this sensor, so let's check it. Da -da 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 -da. One room, hall, hall motion sensor is called. This is day behavior, which it has mixed around. This is night behavior. Oh, I need to, day behavior, when it turns on in the day, it's full blown. It's all the light it can give. Um, then it will turn off after 10 minutes, that would be nice. Uh, in the middle of the night it's gonna be dimmed, not as bright, you can kind of see that. It, it has different, uh, well there is all kind of color schemes that it can go as well. I don't, I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna start simple here. And then down here we have, it's, it's daylight sensible, so if it's already light enough it won't turn on. And then there is how much sensitivity it takes. Right now it's a full blast. So um, yeah, I think we need to uh, we need to check this, see if it works. So uh, hey, Cyril, turn off lights in the hall. Okay, the lights are off. Cool. So now we have to move out there and see what happens. Just gonna fix the camera a little bit. If it turns out when it, when it sees me, that would be... Oh yeah, uh, I mounted it up there, right next to the alarm system. That's cool. Hey Cyril, 
Uh, please turn on the lights in the second living room. Okay, the table lamp is on. Cool, right? Hey, Cyril. Could you make the table lamp blue? Okay, blue. <laughs> Apparently there are some updates available for the different devices. So, um, yeah, I'm downloading those. Then you can kind of program them to other stuff like uh, the behavior, how the light comes on. I'm not sure yet if it can just turn the light softly on or if it's something else that it can do. Okay, so it has been updating and as it says up here, each of these devices can take almost an hour, up to an hour to, uh, to download the update. It didn't take exactly an hour, but it took a bloody long time. So now all of them has or are ready for update and we can press the update button there and they should be updating. I have no idea how long that will take. Uh, let's hope that these numbers goes up. I don't know how long this has been sitting in the box. Um, who knows? Okay, it completed updating. That didn't take as long. This Philips Hue motion sensor was the one that took the longest, the bottom one. Light bulbs themselves, that didn't take long. I actually went out in the hallway and I removed one of the light bulbs and moved it into my bedroom. And um, well, there is funny stuff with, that you can do there. So I'm gonna close that update thing. First, we can now go into the power on behavior here. Before they weren't compatible, now they are. So we can kind of select. If I, if I have powered off the light bulb on the switch on the wall and turns it back on, what should it do? There is different options. Let's take the lamp here. If we have powered that off, it can go to default um, and just power on, or it can it can do whatever it was before that it was powered on. If it was on, it will go to on. If it was off, it will go to off. And then we can do something custom. I was thinking about this custom. If my light bulb was in the data center and there had been a power outage there, we could actually go for for a red light here. Red light, power has been off. So yeah, that's that could be a fun thing. And there are default settings. This one is just a lot of fun. So kind of cool. But the bedroom down here under routines, routine, and we can have a wake up. And I configured that. My clock radio starts at about 6.30 in there. So I made a little routine that 6.30 on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, it uh, turns up the lights. Uh, oh, ah, it fades in over 10 minutes. I think it's gonna start 6.20 and then at, at 6.30 it's gonna be at the right light level. So uh, that's kind of fun, right? Wake up one. So. There's a routine for that. But the coolest thing is kind of when you walk out here and the light just comes on. Um, I have turned it down a little bit. I should probably turn it up again. But when you need to go to the kitchen, well, you get a little light on the way. So that's kind of sweet. Okay, let's try that again. I don't think there was enough lights out here. And it did that again. It's not enough. Ah. Okay, I have kind of told it to do that. Um, in the hallway sensor, there's a the day settings and the night settings, and it, the time has become later than than 4:30. It's actually five, almost 5:30. So we should probably reconfigure that. So let's let's hit that and make that. Let's make it eight o'clock at night. There, done, save. There, close and turn off the hallway light and try that again. Okay, let's go out and see if we get some more lights now. Yep, better, it's um, way better. So I got myself started with a little home automation. And I have also been playing with connecting it to the 
uh, the home app on the what is that called the the home app that is on the iPhones and that combines with the knowledge and the surveillance that Apple is doing on me well they kind of know when I'm leaving for work and so I think it's synchronized so that it can then turn off all the lights and when I come back home it can turn on all the lights so yeah that's awesome so um Merry Christmas everyone thank you very much for watching my videos and um, have a really merry Christmas. Bye-bye.